So a pedophile followed me on Twitter and I'm not even 13. What? How was your day, Mark? How was your day? Was your day good? Did a pedophile follow you on uh, on the social media that was some time ago known as Twitter? Did, uh, did... Nope, nope. Nope, nope, no apparently, pedophiles? Apparently could, uh, since uh, pedophilia is uh, allowed on Twitter or something. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like it's not allowed. It's it? like owner sanctioned, pedos everywhere. And I just literally went online and I looked up like one of the threads and there was this pedophile and I clicked on his profile and he was following me and I wanted to take a shower for 45 <laughs> minutes and I'm not oh. even I I don't I'm not even a child this is this is weird <laughs> I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying pedos should be following children that's not correct but like why me I'm not Jesus, that's why I'm not, dear viewers, this is not why, this is why I'm not wearing ears today. The ears are gone forever because pedophiles will find me and they will think I'm, I'm, I'm a child and uh, this is freaky and creepy and Elon Musk did this. Jesus Christ. William Scott Ritter Jr., uh, who's, um, appearing on different shows and podcasts, uh, as a military expert, uh, and he has a very interesting biography. So, uh, uh, what Wikipedia says that he's an American author, pundit, former U.S. States Marine Corps intelligence officer and former U.N. Um, Special Commission weapons inspector and most importantly, a convicted sex offender. Fuck, sex offender. And that's like, that's like the first, first, uh, first line about this man. Like the no, first but the, sentence. Why isn't why isn't the sex offender part in the beginning of the sentence? Yeah, he <laughs> was a great person, loving father, a great member of his community, a congressman, uh, and you know, a sex offender. Like, why isn't why is this in that order? It, it, it would be a great, uh, you know, LinkedIn page, uh, <laughs> LinkedIn page line. You know, skills, um, child molesting, endorsed by um, Vladimir Putin or like and Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Scott Ritter. Scott Reader, this man, is a very popular pundit among those who have few brain cells. Uh, he's a welcome guest on Alex Jones' show, um, RFK Jr., uh, the candidate uh, nephew, right? He is, is he a nephew of the... Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure. Yeah, uh, of, the, of that Kennedy, and is a candidate to in the president of the United States. Uh, he interviewed him on podcast, and uh, but of course... Scott Reader's main job is uh, being on Russian television, and um, where like he fantasizes. Like all pedos love to go in there. They yeah, all like yeah, going there. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, where he fantasizes about putting alone in a room with a bunch of kids. Vladimir Putin's the only adult in the room right now. We're giggling, but this is horrible. Like this is these are not. We're not having fun. We're actually hysterical. No, that's you know you know that's that's the point. Uh, normal people don't usually work for Russia, right? Uh, they don't usually support genocides, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you know that's um, this you. you you notice there's there's one thing in common with all those guys who support Russia, like Elon Musk's, Tucker Carlson's, um, Scott Reader, uh, RFK Jr., etc., etc. They all have the, this one thing in common, which is they all have like atrocious, horrible taste in clothing. Um, they they dress horribly. You know, it's like I, I think like what what happens. Is it Russian, um, KGB, FSB, um, Russian agents, Russian hackers break into their computers and find, uh, you know, megabytes, gigabytes of, um, uh, bad fashion shows. And then, um, I thought you were going to say child and, pornography, and, not that fashion and then, shows. And then, then they blackmail that they will show people that they watch this horrible stuff, like, you know, uh, Dolce & Gabbana from 2006 or something. And, uh, and yeah, and these people vintage. just have no choice. That's actually vintage. You're offending a whole bunch <laughs> of people right now. No, 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 Mark. Bad Mark. Don't do that. <laughs> it's not even Dolce It's the It's the Rudy Giuliani uh, facial kind of uh, style... <laughs> Pouring 
weird liquid from your head fashion. This is what it is. This is what, this is conceptually what it's all. Like if you were to describe that fashion and that look as something, it would be the drop of dirty, God knows what dripping from Rudy Giuliani's head. Well, at least, um, at least Rudy, Rudy's into the big tits, right? <laughs> that, that, that we know for sure. Uh, for now. I mean, he said it. He did say it. <laughs> oh my God. This is going to be a great podcast. So, Peter Files. Um, <laughs> big tits. Uh, Rudy Giuliani dripping uh, black uh, liquid from <laughs> his head. Uh, <laughs> Elon Musk reinstating um, guy who posted child sex uh, fender video. Like no, the, the most horrible stuff. Yeah, so by the way, speaking of, of Elon Musk here, it's, it's, it, this is the world we live in right now. This is not even, we used to make jokes about that, but I'm not even joking anymore. So, uh, there was this person, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't wanna popularize him because he's still on the platform and he is, uh, a very great kind of co-conspirator on all these QAnon things. And, uh, you know, he, I mean, he's a weird, weird person also, obviously. Uh, not pro democracy in any way, shape, or form. So what happened was he posted a video on his Twitter account. Um, and it wasn't just a, a child pornography. It was one of the most gruesome, uh, videos of child abuse ever made. Like historically, it was made like by this Australian pedophile who like tortured this kid. And so he posted that and he said it was under the pretense of drawing attention to child abuse, which is insane. And you know well, what he Elon Musk did? did. <laughs> Shut up, I mean... Mark. No, don't be a, you're a horrible person. I judge you. I'm going to be the mother here. I don't care. <laughs> anyway. So what, what happened was he posted that video and then Elon Musk himself tweeted a tweet saying, Oh yeah, only a few people on my team, a uh, team that has to do with child pornography inside saw it. So we're going to delete this tweet and we're going to reinstate this guy's account. So. Ukraine for no involved? reason. Yeah, there, there, yeah, were, no there was reason. no reason for instating this guy. I Absolutely thought, not. I thought posting child pornography anywhere is A, illegal, B, severely bad, C, is in, in no Pro shape, way, shape, or form. Like, there's like Twitter policy, right? Still, or website formerly known as Twitter, the X. X. They have some kind of policy, right? So, so imagine, Im just imagine the situation where he goes, eh, we're going to reinstate him. So Ukrainian volunteers who post, uh, you know, bank account details to, uh, raise to money donation. for Ukrainian yeah, yeah. military or for Ukrainian people who've suffered this tremendous tragedy, who don't have homes, who don't have jobs, who have suffered physically. That's trying to get raise, banned. raise money to, to fix people's lives, etc. Yeah, to like feed them to anything. That shit gets banned immediately. Whereas whenever we post child pornography, Elon Musk himself will we don't. tweet about a per I mean, we don't. But like, Elon Musk himself will, will post about the person and try to be like, oh, well, nobody saw it. So it means, what do you mean nobody saw and, it? And, and everybody, everybody's seen it. Like, like tens of thousands of people have seen this tweet and it, uh, it's, I, I don't know, probably, um, <laughs> I, I I don't know the American laws <laughs> that good. No, I mean, but uh, that tweet the, the, with that child pornography, excuse me, had drawn more than three million views and eight thousand retweets. And then I have an a, a convicted, not just an assumed sex offender, but a convicted in a court of law sex offender. Follow me. On Twitter. Because he was also reinstated on Twitter, by the way. Yeah. Yes, he was also reinstated there yeah. for no by, reason by whatsoever. Musk, for no reason, yeah. Uh, th this, this guy is funny, uh, because, um, what he does usually, he goes on every TV show, um, Russian TV shows, um, American podcasts, apparently some Americans want to, uh, hear these things. Uh, he posts as a military expert, although he's not, he was a, uh, like, weapons, weapons uh, inspector or something like that. It's not a military expertise. But anyway, he poses as a weapons inspector and um, tells uh, Russians and tells uh, some Americans that Ukraine will totally lose uh, very, very soon. Mm -hmm. 
Это русские офицеры. А мы к ним как к детям относимся. To get more analytics on pedophilia from time to time, I guess. I don't even know what this is anymore. Um, there are some links in the description where you can support the channel. And you can and comment, by the way, on this video as well, which helps a lot. Um, yes, moral support for the hosts of this channel. As you can see, we're slowly, our psyche are so slowly deteriorating. If your mental health is uh, not okay, Mel, um, it's going to be worse uh, because we have a next video where he um, fantasizing that Ukraine kidnaps children. Something he thinks a lot about, by the way. He's, he, oh he's, he's very specific in that. Uh, and sending them to the front lines. So Ukraine is going around and literally kidnapping people off the streets, including 14 and 16 year old boys who are showing up on the front line with three days of training. So they're kidnapped from the streets of Odessa, given three days of training. They end up in Bakhmut and they die. This Which is... Um, A, not true. Uh, yeah, of B, course. Weird. Complete lie. Well, but... It's, I mean, it's I mean, you extremely be... unnerving to hear Imagine... anything about 13 year old boys from a person who was convicted of sex offense, like some sex offenses. But it, but again, like if you look at the Ukrainian front lines, not only uh, the guys who are shooting videos uh, with their GoPros, because those are the young guys, of course, like mid thirties, maybe mid twenties, uh, but mostly like the 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 big the biggest chunk, probably the biggest part of Ukrainian military right now, who's really fighting in trenches. Those are the older guys, forty plus, yeah. fifty plus, often even like sixty plus. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Scott Reader's fantasy, like, just doesn't give him a chance to think about anything. I can, okay, I, I get your point. He's very, it's very obvious what he likes. But then with Scott Reader, it's like a whole mess of crap that I don't understand. The thing about Scott Reader, uh, like, Russians need um, Americans who will tell them what they want to hear, which is obvious, but they want like it to be it to be legitimized by americans uh because like they hate america but also they desperately need to hear um the approval from american and they don't care if this american is a sex offender pedophile whatever you call him like uh the poorest man on earth uh the the homeless um the the the, the insane uh, person, they need to hear it with American accent that, um, you know what? Ukraine is losing and they're like, oh shit, yes, I'm, I'm feeling so good. Uh, the people who hate America so much, they, they want to nuke America, but also they want Americans to love them. No, but the problem is that they most likely don't even know. He's a, he's a sex offender and, and nobody will look it up and nobody they, cares. They know. <laughs> no, I don't think uh, a, Russians, an average probably, yeah. Russian know. Yeah, no, I yeah, don't think Ru they Russians know. They, they see an American person who's an expert at, on weapons and they assume he's a, obviously, you know, a, the only American who tells them the truth. But it says a lot about, you know, Russian establishment. I mean, we know they're shitty people. But it's it says a lot about them that they're willing to um, shake hands with people like this. Враг на Донбассе не может сдвинуться. Они в ловушке. Русские замкнут кольцо и всех уничтожат. They will they will circle them and destroy. That's a video from the year ago, um, where Scott Ritter, military expert, uh, said that Ukrainian will be um, encircled, destroyed, um, dead, all. All of Ukraine yeah, will be yeah. gone. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's a... how's, how's, how's the water, boys? That, how, that aged like milk, actually. 
Uh, How does it feel right now, guys? It's very one-sided. And there's no way what the United States is doing can can bring the Ukrainians up so that it's back to being close to a fair fight. This is a one-sided match. It's murder, pure and simple. Yeah, that's that's, that's the funny part. Um, yeah, it's just it it it, it, it it did age like milk. Like <laughs> he he just continues. Uh, the, we have. We have like a bunch of videos from a year ago where he says like Ukrainian army is under a great deal of stress. They're being rapidly attrited. They're in danger of collapsing within a matter of days or weeks. And that's like June 2022. Uh, yeah, by the way, how good of a military expert is he when one year after all his prognoses are, are literal crap? Like I mean, how, why does nobody, why does nobody even why do they keep calling him on TV? I still don't get it. Like, it's it's obvious that he's mistaken all the time. I guess it doesn't matter well, on Russian TV. Yeah, yeah. Well, Russian TV is not surprising, right? Russian TV can call the uh, stray dogs uh, to fuck on life or something like that. Uh, but what what really surprises me, people like RFK Jr., which who's obviously insane, right? <laughs> um, like, anti-Semite... Um, Probably Holocaust denier. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But like something, something in that. But this thing is, is like too much. Because those things, like he was, he's talking about, they happening right now. And you can check if they are true. Like right now, the guy who told you that Ukraine will, yeah. <laughs> Ukraine will lose in in matter of days. Yeah. Uh, well, like year if, ago. If you, it, yeah. If Ukraine lost, how come Putin's not in Kyiv? Huh? I wonder, is there any le- like laws in the United States? Apparently, this guy is in the United States, and what he's doing, he's like openly working for sanctioned Russians for Russian for Russian government. Uh, it's it's not a like I, I assume he's like getting his paycheck, you know, uh, with over mail from Moscow or something. How is it even possible? How like why 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 are we? I don't even, know. Like why do we even have to discuss that? This. No, we have to. No, no. This no, is the I mean, whole I mean, reason the, he, why we have to discuss it because he's yeah, reinstated he, he should on be Twitter. In jail That's the point, for Mark. No, like this is he should be. But the point is, this is exactly what happens. We. Uh, this is why we discuss him, and this is why people know who he is. And it's completely Elon Musk's fault. He's calling for bombing. Ukrainian cities. Деоккупировать Одессу. Может быть, пора использовать вооруженные силы по-другому и обрушить мосты через Днепр, вернуть Одессу. What's important here is this guy is openly on the side of Russia, and he's admitting it. I don't know if he's in the United States. Well, the videos obviously are from the United States, but like he states that uh, we we have a video actually. Я считаю, что сегодня моя страна на плохой стороне истории, а Россия на правильной стороне истории. Again, again, let me say this again and again. Let me Google it for you again and again. He was, he was a United States Marine Corps intelligence officer. So this is a, this was a person who was in American military and now he is able to say shit like that and get off Scott. There's basically. like zero, like almost zero because we, we are going to be sued over that. But there is like almost zero chance that this guy is not working for FSB, right? He, or GRU or whatever. Like he's, 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 he, he's an agent. Definitely. And there's, by the way, by the way, there is no proof that he wasn't working for Russia, not just now, but when Absolutely, he was still considering in his military. sexual abuse history, uh, those are the guys who are actually easy targets. Are we the only ones paying attention? It, I, all, it, it, I, it almost feels like what is no, this? nobody nobody gives a fuck. Uh, it, it's like, eh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's this fun guy talking on YouTube, freedom of speech. Let's have him reset it on Twitter so we can get all these likes and shares. And, no, but Elon Musk. What is like, this? Even? Elon Musk obviously loves what this guy is saying. Like, there is there is no other reason for to reinstate him. I mean, it was it was it was a personal yeah, decision, yeah, uh, wasn't it? it, it no had other to be. way. Yeah, like but same same with Kanye again, West, like twice already, recently, right? Even albeit his yeah his 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 horrible anti-Semitic remarks. It's it's the same with that pedophile we've spoken about earlier that posted child pornography. So that's it. 
uh, that's it, boys and girls. Uh, be careful on Twitter uh, because there's um, there are Russian supporters there uh, who want who want to. Did you really just say boys and girls? Yeah, yeah, Mark? <laughs> so yeah, um, be aware. Um, be careful. Don't uh, don't get subscriptions or likes from um, like dudes uh, in a suit you don't know uh in their 50s uh right <laughs> don't <laughs> talk to, don't change, talk to, to strangers, strangers on, on online, twitter because on x they wait can be sorry sorry that's by the way x Russian. you know like they rebranded twitter because they, like all this stuff is allowed there <laughs> and it's like and it's x right uh, now oh my god so don't talk to strangers online because they might be pedophiles russian supporters or Russian supporters, like military experts, uh, who say that Ukraine will lose soon, and that the United States are wrong and Russia is right. I mean, just don't, don't, just, just don't go on the on the X Men. It's just there's no there's no guarantee. I mean, I knew about Scott Ritter before. I knew about him. I never thought I never thought he would follow me. Why? 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 It's because of the cat ears. Absolutely. Isn't it? It's because of the cat ears. I'm never Maybe, wearing them again. What if Scott, Rid Scott Ritter loved our podcast so much? Please, if you're Scott Ritter, please, please leave, leave a, a comment. comment. And if you're not, leave a comment that you're not Scott Ritter and uh, and subscribe Scott to this Ritter, channel yeah. and uh, press like, uh, press uh, the bell sign. Uh, do everything you need for this video to be shared um, and for the people to know everywhere uh, that Scott Ritter is a, is a registered sex offender. Uh, thank you very much and have a good have a thank good one. You.